the 11th day of anime. This one's from Ruin and Kenshin. The Saito versus Kenshin battle. I look back on this battle so fondly because I remember when everything changed. For the entire first season of Ruin and Kenshin, I was kind of like, why am I watching this show? Then Saito walks in and then he has his fight with Kenshin and I was suddenly like, oh, this fight made everything so much more intense. It showed me that Rurouni Kenshin wasn't a mediocre series. It actually had a lot of really well-crafted battle scenes and really cool characters like Saito. So not only did I really like the battle itself, but this fight sort of represents my turning point into actually liking Rurouni Kenshin. I was sort of sleepwalking through my reviews and they were only like seven minutes long. And then this fight happened and I was like, oh, there's suddenly so much to talk about. Honestly, I would have stopped watching the show if it wasn't for this awesome fight that made me go, okay, maybe you have more to offer me. I liked it a whole lot and I definitely like Saito a whole lot because he's sort of crazy, but he doesn't know it. But that's a video for another day. Watch my assessment of the fight after the fade, and I'll see you tomorrow for the final day of anime. Bye! I want to make sure that the battle between Kenshin and Saito is recognized and acknowledged for the awesomeness that it really was. It was wicked cool. Saito really did appear to stand on the same level as Kenshin. Those minutes dedicated to that battle were some of the greatest minutes in Ruin and Kenshin so far.